Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. This video reveals exactly how to do keyword research on YouTube. You're gonna actually follow along on my computer where we're gonna go on and I'm gonna show you step-by-step, click-by-click, where to go and how to actually set it up. So I've got a lot of other keyword research videos on this channel. I still think they're all valid and you definitely can use those methodologies for YouTube, but the YouTube search engine has more engagement built into its algorithm than Google does. What I mean by this is YouTube is monitoring on your videos what gets thumbs up, what the view duration is, the average view duration, etc. So there's these additional metrics that are kind of baked into the algorithm. And when you use the tool that I'm going to show you here in a second, you actually get to reference what your data states against what the keyword values are. That's what this tool does. And the tool I use is a paid tool. It is $9 per month and it's at milesbeckler.com forward slash TubeBuddy. Now it's TubeBuddy and I am an affiliate. 100% disclosure. That's not why I'm showing you this tool. Um, it's because it's the best YouTube specific keyword research tool out there on the market. I do appreciate it. If you use my links, I am an affiliate. That's how I kind of sponsor this channel, if you will. Uh, so again, milesbecker.com forward slash TubeBuddy. Now you can use their free level, but you only get a few results. And to really get the full results like I'm doing in this video, uh, you do need the $9 per month uh, level, but you get a lot of other tools and TubeBuddy will definitely help you grow your YouTube channel. So in this video, we go through two specific examples, starting with an idea, right? Because this is how I always start my videos. As I start with an idea, I come to the table, I'm going to make a video about this. And then the job is to go cross reference. What is the best keyword phrase for that idea? And that's the blend. And when you start using these keyword phrases for the titles of your videos, the descriptions of your videos, you can even get all of the tags for your videos from this tool, you're going to find that your videos perform better, you get more reach, you get more impressions, more clicks, more views, more subscribers, and so on and so forth. Without further ado, let's jump on the computer and get started. All right, this is how to do keyword research for YouTube through TubeBuddy. Now, um, let's just say that you're an addiction counselor. That's what you do. Maybe you've got a course, maybe you do some one-on-one -on -one sessions, maybe you do both, maybe you run a physical location. Either way, you want to create videos that, that reach the different sub-segments of your audience. And let's say you want to kind of go into the stop smoking world, which is what we're going to use here, because um, that's like one of the things that you do. So you click over here on the three little bars on the hamburger menu for TubeBuddy and then down here you click on keyword explorer now up here you type your seed keyword so this is just the starting keyword right so as I said I'm an addiction counselor but I know I want to focus on the smoking customer avatar so that's what I'm going to type in here is stop smoking and then you click explore now it takes a quick minute to pull all of the data, but right away you can see that the overall score is poor for this, right? And it gives you more data as to why it's poor, but it calls it a poor keyword. And we obviously want to find good keywords. So this is the easiest way to look at it as the metric right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the video topic tabs over here on the right at related. And then these are the ones you want to look through. So let's just click on this first one, how to stop smoking naturally. You can see right here that it's a good keyword. So we've all already move from poor to good by simply leveraging the video topics here and this is probably a far superior not probably this is a far superior keyword phrase to go after because it's going to be a little bit easier for us now this score is based on your channel okay so if you go repeat this it might be different than what I'm doing so TubeBuddy is analyzing the relevance of my channel versus the relevance of other channels so if you do that and get a different data point that's fine but this is how you can understand through YouTube where your channel is most relevant to like what keyword phrases what topic ideas and this should help you follow that kind of path of relevance to create more great videos that are relevant to you your channel and your audience do not trust this blindly 100% uh, you you need to use your thinker right you need to make sure you're creating content that your audience is actually searching for so really understanding your customer avatar who they are what they need where they're at in their life where they're trying to go in their life you got to bring that to the table yourself because this again is a mechanical tool and you need to really be sure that you're able to um you know think think like literally critical thinking is required that, that's what i'm getting at here so let's go through and do one more if we shall um i'm gonna turn this one off and i'm gonna go back and start a new one here so let's do um how to cut down a tree 
is something I'm going to explore. And you can see it auto populated several. You can see eight of four is poor. So I'm going to come over here to video topics. Um, ooh, how to cut down a tree and make it fall where you want. See, it's showing me longer tail keyword phrases and we went from poor to very good. Okay. And this is the process. You essentially want to seed it with a short keyword phrase and then you want to go to the video topics tab to find the long tail keyword phrase because this is where you'll be able to rank videos much more quickly which means more views more subscribers more clicks more engagement everything works better when you focus on those long tail keyword phrases that's the process hope it's been helpful enjoy